Hi guys, welcome to Martin Made. My name is Stephanie and today I'm giving you five quick and easy meals. Now, a few weeks back, somebody said they would love for me to do some videos or a video on some quick and easy meals that um, would be great for like weeknights or, you know, just something quick and something easy. And so I thought, you know what, that would be a really nice video to do, like maybe five quick and easy meals or a couple just quick and easy meals to do. And so I got a list together and I actually had more than five, but I decided this week I'm going to just do five quick and easy meals. And you can kind of take a look at some of the different recipes I have there. If I have the recipe, I will link it in the description below. If I don't, I will type it out in the description below. Um, I will do what I can to get the recipe to you. Um, but either way, um, here, let's get going into the five quick and easy recipes. Okay, to make cowboy casserole, you are going to want to fry up some hamburger. I use about one pound of ground beef and then a little bit of onion. You can decide how much you want. Um, more if you like more, less if you don't really care for onion. Um, and you're going to fry that all up until it is completely cooked through. Then I'll take a paper towel and I will clean up the grease just so it's not quite so greasy and I will um, add one whole can of cream of chicken soup and mix that up, try to get every last drop out of it and mix that all together and stir it and kind of just warm it just a little bit. This recipe makes a fairly small amount, so you might want to double it. But once you have it heated through, you can add it to a casserole dish, then add some salt and pepper, and stir that all around. And then you want to flatten it out on the bottom. And then on top of that, you're going to start adding your um, tater tots um, or your. We have up here with these tater rounds and so I decided to use those on top of this one. Bake in an oven that is at 425 for about 30 minutes or until bubbly. The next recipe I have is sweet potato tacos. This is quite yummy. You can kind of pick and choose what you like with these. But to start off with, you need to cook the potatoes. So I just do my sweet potatoes in the microwave. You're gonna wanna take your potatoes and put holes in them and then drizzle olive oil over them and then put them in the microwave for 10 minutes and then while that's cooking, you can chop up some um, ground beef or some chicken. You can decide whatever kind of tacos you want. You can do meatless tacos. Um, I did half a pound of um, ground beef here 
and then added my taco seasoning to it and just cooked that all up. And then once my sweet potatoes had been in for 10 minutes, I flipped them over and then did them for 10 minutes longer. And once they have been in for about 20 minutes, they should be very soft. And you can start putting your meat on them and just building your tacos how you like. And let me tell you, these are delicious. Now we have cheese rolls. What I do, I use tortillas, I use cheese and chicken usually, and I take a tortilla and I will put cheese down on it and chicken down on it and then I just roll that right up and I will pan fry it and I'll fry it on both sides of um, the, the roll and my kids absolutely love this and then I just cut it into pieces and it's one of their favorite things. Now there's fajitas. Fajitas are one of those things that everybody will do when they want something that's quick and easy. And so I'm making chicken fajitas here and I just melt a few tablespoons of butter, throw some um, peppers and onions down, get them just um, moistened and just softened enough. And then I'll add the chicken. And I usually use pre-cooked chicken because I'm usually using um, chicken that I had from like a roast, like a roast chicken. And so I just cook that until the veggies start getting limber. And once they are limber, then I will start adding in the taco seasoning. And I'll pour that in and cook that. And try not to let that steam out, let that steam stay in there and cook those veggies even more so that they're nice and limber. And um, then you just make sure they get nice and coated. And then once you're done, you've got a fajita. Now for my curried carrot sweet potato soup. So first you're going to start off with two teaspoons of canola or olive oil, half a cup of onions, three cups of cubed peeled sweet potatoes, one and a half cups of cubed peeled carrots, and you're going to stir that over medium to high heat. Then you're going to add one tablespoon of grated ginger, two teaspoons of curry powder, three cups of chicken broth, and half a teaspoon of salt and you're going to mix that all together. Cook until tender. Once it's tender, you're going to take it out of the pot and you're going to blend it all up and it should be nice and smooth. It should come out really, really smooth and creamy. enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up for those of you who are new to this channel you can hit that red subscribe button down below and you can hit the little bell off to one side and you will be notified anytime I upload a new video I hope you have a wonderful and blessed week and God bless bye